Hey guys, Kay here with another video for you all. Today I want to talk about a subject that um, you may have never heard me speak on, but I just feel like I got to talk about it. And it being Sunday, you know, the Lord's Day is just weighing on my mind. And um, you probably are aware of these things going on, but maybe you aren't. So, the subject is uh, satanic images in hip-hop music today. And, and particularly, Lil Wayne. Now, I have been somebody who has been a, a fan of Lil Wayne for a while, you know. Probably in the past four years, five years, you know, I was into his stuff. Um, and oh wait, when he came out with Lollipop, everybody was rocking it. That song it was a club joint. It was just a fun, you know, party type song. Or get money and you know, just little party jams. But increasingly, a lot of his music has become more explicit. Um, not that it hasn't, it's been explicit, but it's become more explicit, more darker, more, um, you know, kind of bizarre images going on, um, things that don't make sense, um, and this last video, this latest video, I should say, that he has out, it just creeps me out, and it just... It is shocking how people can look at these things that he's doing and see how darker and more evil he's getting in some of his images and think it's okay and it's cool. Um, he has a new video called Love Me, I believe. And in this video, he has images of women in cages in some basement-like setting like a dungeon with fire, um, torches around. Um, the women have snake-like um, tongues and tails wagging. Um, in one image, um, you have women bathing each other in blood. Bathing each other in blood, people. Okay, and the thing that makes it so satanic, you know, is the fact that he actually says these expletive love me like Satan, man. These hoes love me like Satan, man. That's what actually what he said in the video. Oh, is and then he has a demonic, um horns on his head you know it like and then his eyes turn white and he has these horns and um also his eye you know after his eyes turn white and he has um, bugs crawling on his face if that's not satanic i don't know what it is the fact that he would have that in a video, the fact that he would have these women bathing in blood, caged up like demons, the fact that he would sit up there and boast these women love him like Satan or more than Satan. Why would they love you like Satan? So, what are you, a devil? You know, and him turning like he's possessed with the horns and the white eyes, smiling. You know, this man is evil. <laughs> You know, you can deny it all you want. You know, people who are fans, you can try to sugarcoat and cover up. But these people on Young Money Crew, Wayne's Crew, they've got some other things going on beyond the music. There's even a video called Mirror where he puts himself on the cross like Jesus with blood coming down. How are you putting yourself in the image of Christ? How are you mocking the cross of Christ? And I've had people get into arguments with me on YouTube, on the video. I said, how can he do this? How can he present himself as Jesus? He's not a God. People stop looking at him like a God. And someone got into it and said, oh, well, it's just art. He's just being artistic. He doesn't think he's God. He's supposed to um, be about God, too. 
Okay, just because he thanks God when he gets an award does not mean he's a Christian. And just because he might throw Jesus' name in, in, in a song doesn't mean he's a Christian. On several occasions, Wayne has said that, you know, he was God. You know, ask her who I am. She'll tell you that I'm God. And now this issue about these women loving him like Satan. Just like Tiger, uh, another rapper on his crew, actually said that, um, you know, he was God in a couple of songs. You know, they, they, they think they're above God because they have money and they rap, but who are they worshiping? They're not worshiping God. They're worshiping the devil. And it's obvious, you know, to put a song out there like that. And this is now the hot song of his. And people talking about this the best one he ever did. Well, it's the most evil he's ever done. Um, Just check out the music. If you do listen to the music, my thing is if you listen to hip hop, if you listen to any of these people, Young Money, Cash Money, either cut down, cut down on listening to them, listen to what they really say. You know, listen beyond the I got bling and I got girls. You know, there's some other stuff going on with that. You know, and it's just really making me feel really creeped out even looking at these people. You know, I really cut back on my listening to him because of that. You know, as a matter of fact, there was a song where he said something about Emmett Till. Now, Emmett Till was the young man who was brutally murdered in the 50s for whistling at a white woman. If you're of that time or era... Or you're over 30, you should know who he is. Okay? In 1955, he was brutally murdered by a white woman's husband. And I believe her, her stepbrother because he whistled at her or spoke to her. And they came back. They kidnapped him in the middle of the night. Um, not only did they shoot him, they got his eyes out. And they threw him in the river. Okay, and t tied a, a cotton gin to his body and waited him in the river. This man brutally, this young boy brutally murdered for just looking or even thinking of, you know, say, saying one thing to a white woman. And Little Wayne had a nerve to defame this man's name, this young man's name in a song. He said something very sickening. Um... I can't say what he said, but it was about a woman and doing something to a woman, you know. And uh, he put the guy's, you know, this young man's name into it. And his family has asked for an apology. He hasn't apologized. He doesn't care about destroying this, you know, young man's name that pretty spoke, you know, sent outrage in the black community at that time and sparked part of the civil rights movement, you know, to, it, and, and Lil Wayne is my age, I'm 30, <laughs> he's 30, 31, he knows black history enough to even know the man's name that he would even put that in a song and, 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 and disrespect this man's name like that after what, what the sick things that happened to, to this boy. So he doesn't care about anybody. He doesn't care about the people looking at this stuff. He's preaching a message and his message is evil. His message is buy my music. Let me brainwash you. Let me put tight beats over evil messages and, and you're going to still party and be up in the club rocking to me no matter what I say. And for people to still Look at a video like that when he got Satan images, like he's sacrificing these women and still want to listen to him. They're already brainwashed. That goes to show how brainwashed people are with hip hop. Please be careful. Please listen to what the lyrics are. You know, there are positive rappers out there like Lecrae, like Trip Lee, rapping for God, rapping truth, rapping positivity. And there's so many other rappers out there that you can listen to that spread a godly word. 
this music out here is getting more evil and, and I just want you guys to be aware of it. So that's my message for tonight. Peace out.